<laughs> my lord. Oh, my lord. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, him, let him use you. <laughs> let him use you. <laughs> he's here. He's, he's in the atmosphere. Let him come. Let him come. Let him come. Let them all come. Where you out of pocket? I wish I had that long hair. <laughs> Donate some to the cause, bro. Getting the ball spots. Y'all nah. was getting the ball spots. Nah. Okay, cool. We're holding it down for the ball, bro. Okay, cool. Oh. I know that mic picking up the phone, but y'all just going to have to wait because I'm talking to my... I'm What's good, boo? See, listen, these folks don't know that don't I was know. in church, you know what I'm saying? Hello. And they had like the the <laughs> miming. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then put, praise put and worship. The praise and worship. All that. Yeah. Yeah. All in in love with Jesus. You know that was the time we Falling in love with Jesus. <laughs> Woo. <That's crazy. laughs> they say they crazy. They say, Cal, you just do it too much. Listen, I don't go to the next channel. Go subscribe to somebody else. But why are you here at 431? Uh-huh. We're gonna have a good time. A good old time, boo. Peggy, how was your weekend, Peggy? But the weekend was great, bro. They said they done packed us up in a hatchback and drove us up there to New York City. The Big Apple. Uh-huh, the Big they Apple. They said you're vegetarian at your Peggy. But I still took a bite of the apple. All right. <laughs> Eve. Easy now. Slow bro, down. Fourth and one, Fanatics Fest. Yeah. Book. How you feel about it, bro? You had your boy Johnny Football on stage. Man, shout out to Johnny Football, bro. Like... Real talk. I, 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 we had some some moments where uh, we got to, you know, chat a little bit. Um, and yeah, man, it was real. I yeah. told him I want the real Johnny. Yeah. I don't want no Jonathan. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I want Johnny. Yeah. We want Johnny, man. <laughs> Who Let's is do this, Johnny? Johnny? Who is Jonathan? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like real talk. We had a blast. Uh, New York appreciation fanatics, yes. man. Appreciation, the hospitality was unmatched. Uh, Peggy, uh -huh. you burst your live bubble. Yes, sir. How we doing, man? How it felt doing? good, but I done had to pop the peg legs out in front of other people, man. Hey, also, too, you got the full show on YouTube right now. Hit the link in the bio and, and below in the comments. So the full show with Johnny is out for the people to see. Yeah. But, bro, it felt good being up on stage, my peg legs out. You was nervous? Before, I think that morning I woke up, I'm like, oh man. Cause let me tell y'all about Cam, okay? Cause this is when, this story time, this is what Cam does on, on the daily. So this was nothing to Cam. It's like, bro, I done played in front of millions, bro. So it's like, Cam, I'm like, man, even pre-production, I'm like, Cam, what do you wanna do? Find your place, bro, figure it out. Okay. That's like he done threw me off the boat with no life jacket. Cam come in and Cam fashion. I mean, he is like two opposites. A whole day I'm like, I'm focused. I'm like, bro, I need to shave my bald head. I need to make sure my hair is straight. Bro, I had to go to a barber shop. <laughs> bro, I'm like, man, bro, I hope I ain't get nicked. Anyway, Cam come in Cam fashion, strolling through. What up, Johnny? Pop through 4040. In and out, and right go straight on stage. And I'm like, oh man. But I was nervous at first, but right once you hit that, Peggy, when I went, what's good, boo? After that. We didn't even get to do it the right way, though. Yeah, I know it was so fast. Yeah, that's one thing. Everything did move a lot faster. Yeah. I I, I was I felt a little rush when we got on stage. Yeah. Not not because of the the personnel rush this. It's yeah. just because, you know, you just that was our first time. And um and we got to do that more often, man. You know, get our reps up. I'm excited, bro. I want to crowd surf one show. Help me out, bro. This is what I would say, though. <clears throat> and I had to be uh, educated mm -hmm. on the New York audience. Mm -hmm. 
Drinking and driving will change your whole world. The next time you're out with your friends, consider what will happen if you get pulled over after drinking. Like the legal fees or time in court or a DUI on your record. Your decision to drink and drive can impact someone else's world too. If you hurt or kill them in a crash. Instead, what if your decision to call a sober driver could impact your world for the better? Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by NHTSA. It was a lot of people there it was. in attendance. So make no mistake about it. Like you can't really see it in the, in these pictures or whatever, but it was a lot of people that was watching us. Yeah. I didn't see a seat open. I did. It was I will probably say 150 to potentially 300 people sitting down and watching us and people standing up. Mm -hmm. But it didn't feel like that. It did not. Right? Yeah. And I don't know if it was because they didn't know me. They didn't know what type of show to expect. But <clears throat> next time, we're going to have a disclaimer. You know, shout mm -hmm. out to uh, Pat McAfee. They got a disclaimer before they show. Yeah. We need to have a disclaimer before our show. What is going to say, bud? She's like, this is an inclusive. Okay. Full participation with the audience. Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing crazy, but just be ready to turn the fuck up. Come on, now. We just got to tell the people. Tell them, because they don't know. Because when we come out there, you know, it's just a lot of... Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm over here. Like, but I do got to get it. I got to come to their defense. Just playing devil's advocate. You had 4040 Club right beside us, blasting music. You had a full live basketball game going on right behind us. So I'm thinking, even in hearing, trying to lock in on what we're saying, Cause nobody left though. Nobody left the show. We didn't see nobody get up and leave with all of that stuff going on. Yeah, it was too respectful. We need some ratchets in that crowd. We, need some we don't need no re leader respect at home. If you come to fourth and one, you get ratchet. We bougie and we ratchet. We bougie ratchet. We're ratchet. Ratchetly bougie. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. I was looking for the mosh pit, Peggy. You were looking for the mafia, boo. I was looking for man, mafia the goddamn chest. chest. Like right now, man. Mafia, that motherfucker. That's what I'm Mafia, 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 mafia. I was like, come on, bro. I was looking for that. Yeah. And I was like, damn, it was a lot of people. And I'm like, damn, it's a cor We had some corporate, corporate people, but then uh, we had some fans some too. Some real fanatics. You dig? So I'm like, yo, okay, we going. We just got to mesh the two together. Maybe I didn't gauge the crowd mm -hmm. right. Because I was thinking like, oh, shit, we about to, you know what I'm saying, turn up. It was cool. I was sweating my ass off. Yeah, bro, <laughs> bro I, it was so hot. <laughs> and, you know, in typical fashion, my girl say, I was packing your clothes. And why in the world would you wear a doggone leather jacket? But we had to undertake a leather jacket on. And that's what she said, too. <laughs> and I said, nah, baby, wrong wrestler. I was feeling stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not 316. I'm trying to tell you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt stone cold. Ah. And I was going to stun him. <laughs> stone cold. You did, but don't let that fly over your dress or just fly over your bald head. Come on, slick and But smooth. that way, we had a good time. Yeah, well, it was definitely something that we can learn from and build off of. Mm -hmm. Man, Big Apple, appreciation, fanatics, appreciation, Mar uh, um, Mike Rubin. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Beat him up, word. Mike Rubin, appreciate yes, you. Sir, uh, and everybody. It wasn't even like, yeah, it was obviously his company, but his staff, bro, was just so accommodating. Yeah, they really were. But, you know, it was good. And Johnny, bro, we got we to gotta run that one back. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. And then just on some on some love stuff. One of the things that I did tell Johnny to do, and I would tell anybody, bro, you want your own production company. Mm. Like, he's an athlete. And not a lot of athletes have that it factor where we just want to know. Because I'm thinking, like, I'm, 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 we're interviewing Johnny Manziel, mm. and I'm, I have so many questions. Yeah, I know. And, I, and even though we had questions on our sheet, I'm saying to myself, bro, I have so many questions that I'm like, bro, what was it like? Facts. 
He younger than me. I'm still like. He I had got, more social media too than the time you played. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's social media was hype. more prominent in. Yeah. And yeah. Like he still has this level of mystique that it's like. What the fuck are you doing, guy? Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking in that little <laughs> brain of yours, guy? <laughs> but, man, so much love to him and his team. Uh, shout out to Liz. Uh, yeah, man. And um, be on the lookout. Yeah. Peggy and Boogie. Come on. World tour. Uh. Where y'all want to see us at? Hit that in that comment, bro. Shout your city out. You know what I mean? I mean but, but if you shot your city out, uh -huh. it's got to be nothing but my. Oh, man. Man. That's it, man. You gotta have a. Where the biggest fans are, 4.1. You know what I mean? Like, real talk.